sign, pick, and pin objects. Hello children, I am the parrot. Welcome to this video. Let's see what we will learn in this video. Identifying pick and thin objects and identifying the thickest and the thinnest objects. This evening there is no electricity in Chotu's and Pinky's house. Mother has asked Chotu and Pinky to bring a thick candle from the market. Chotu and Pinky went to a shop to buy candles. Auntie, please give a thick candle. Take this children. Choose out of this. Chotu, can you tell me which of these is a thicker candle? Children, can you tell me which of these candles is thick and which one is thin? Well done children. Amongst these two candles, this one is thicker and this candle is the thinner one. Pinky, this candle is thick and this candle is thin. Okay. Chotu, will this thick candle burn all night? Pinky, let's take a candle thicker than this. Right, Chotu. Let's take a candle thicker than this. Auntie, please give us the thickest candle. Here you go, children. This is the thickest candle. Pinky, this candle is the thickest. Let us take this. Okay, Chotu. Children, Pinky and Chotu took the thickest candle. Can you tell me which of the three candles is the thinnest one? Yes, this is the thinnest candle. Was your answer the same, children? So, children, today Chotu and Pinky identified the thickest and thinnest candle. The next day when the electricity went off, Chotu and Pinky went to play in the park. They were playing hide and seek. First, it was Chotu's turn to hide. Chotu decided to hide behind a tree. Chotu saw two trees in the front. So children, can you tell me behind which tree Chotu should hide? This tree is thin, so Chotu cannot hide behind this. Chotu goes and hides behind another tree. Do you know why Chotu is not seen now? You are right children. This tree is thick. So he can easily hide behind it. That's why Chotu chose to hide behind this thick tree. So children did you see? Chotu could not hide behind the thin tree. But could easily hide behind a thick tree. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned identifying thick and thin objects and identifying thickest and thinnest objects. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of identifying thick and thin objects. Till then, bye children.